What's going on everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this video. First off, before I even get into this, I just wanted to say I learned this from a guy that goes by Invis Gaming on YouTube. Uh, I don't know who the exact founder is. He didn't say he was the founder of this. He says this is actually a pretty old glitch. But I never knew about this. I actually never knew you could kill Fogoth while he's still chained up. Actually, I don't think his name is Fogoth. I think it's like the Hive Abomination Ogre. But everybody knows this boss fight here to be the Fogoth fight. So... That's why it's in the title. So it'll be like, oh my gosh, Rifle, you really clickbait? It's not Fogoth, it's the Hype Abomination. Oh my gosh. I feel so much hatred. I'm going to cry hatred tears. Anyways, as you can see, what I just did right there, I know I didn't explain anything there while I was going, but you just want to jump to that light and then jump to this platform. By the way, be careful, there is an invisible wall here at this platform. You only got like a little ledge here, so it's not even necessarily a platform. It's like a ledge you can stand on here. And then from this ledge, you want to jump up to this platform. And this is fully accessible. And then from here, you're going to want to jump way over here. I mean, you don't have to necessarily take this route that I take, but it's just an, uh, a safer route, I guess, in a way. And as you can see, you want to go over to this section. And then here, you can go right out of the map. But I'm not going to go out right out of the map right now. I'm just showing these guys the glitch. They've never actually done this. Uh, i got to go hit a checkpoint before I go out of the map because that's pretty much how we're able to do damage on the ogre here. I know it's not Fogoth, so leave me alone. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the checkpoint over there and then I'm gonna come back and go do the glitch. So I'm gonna cut this part. Okay, so once you got this checkpoint here, now you want to go back. It's gonna be trickier if you're doing it on this just because you, know, you can't go back just that way. You're gonna have to Take a crazy part, so I don't know. The guy that goes here and gets the checkpoint makes sure he can make it back. Okay, here it goes. Alright, yep. Made it back. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this heavy ammo because why not? It's right there. I'm gonna pick it up. And then I'm gonna make my way back up to that light. You guys already saw how I did this part. It's pretty cool. Jump up to this light right here. Oh, whoa, I did not need this sword. Did not need this sword. Come on. Oh, and by the way, I guess while I'm doing this again and showing you guys it step by step, um, real quick, I just recently made a brand new Facebook. I'll leave that in the description. I basically just want another community outside of YouTube. So yeah, I decided to start a Facebook page. It's called The Gaming Outlet. Uh, if you want, it'd be greatly appreciated if you go follow it. I'm gonna have funny gaming videos on there and also, of course, funny gaming memes too. I'm gonna wait for these guys to get over. Come on. As you can see, the warlock can make it. So yes, everybody can make it. It's just an interesting way to kill this hive abomination. Let's go, come on, Blaze, come on. And then from here, I mean, that looks insane. Like, what the heck? Just a bunch of red platforms. Huh. I don't know. Looks cool. But we're not taking that way. We're going this way. This is the MLG way to kill this hive abomination. Just kidding. Just kidding, everybody. Come on, don't take me to it so serious. Video games are not meant to be freaking serious. They're meant to have some fun. And this, in my opinion, is some fun. So now, all we're going to want to do is walk up this giant invisible mountain. And we're going to head all the way over here. You know, the opening down there, the platform. We're just going to go down there. Oh, crap, I forgot. These guys are not familiar with this glitch. <laughs> Whoops. I'm leaving them behind. Okay, come on, Blaze. What are you doing? Oh, dang. He's so confused right now. Ah, I feel... Oh, I'm mean for doing that. I am really mean for doing that. My bad, Blaze, if you're watching this. My bad, man. Got too ahead of myself there, not realizing, you know, these guys have never seen or done this glitch before. They're just, they're just doing the journey with me. It's better to do this with people that you, you know, play with or know, just because if you get people that are just running through the map regularly, well then, you're going to have a tough time getting this glitch to work. But as you can see, oh, uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Thanks. But as you can see, the enemies... They're not doing nothing. Like, look at them. 
You can kill him. Yeah, go ahead. Kill him. Get you some glimmer here. I don't know. They don't do nothing. They don't shoot back. And neither does Fogal. Or the ogre here. Alright, so I don't know exactly what happened there. Fogoth, or whoever that was, was still supposed to be chained up. This time I'm not on the harder difficulty. Also, just to make this faster, because you guys already get what to do for the glitch. I just want to show you that he will still be chained up and I can kill him the whole time while he's chained up. It's pretty crazy how it looks. As you can see, this big boy is still chained up. Then watch when I start shooting him. He'll just chill there. This is a long process. I'm not going to let you guys watch all of this, of course. But, he is seriously just there, chained up, and I can kill him. I never knew this was possible. So, I thought you guys might find this interesting, because I found this interesting. This is a pretty awesome glitch. I know you guys don't like glitches in PvP, but hey, this is in PvE. This is beneficial for everyone. I know you don't necessarily have to use a freaking glitch to take on this boss. But the point is having fun right if you have fun doing this kind of stuff go have some fun with this this is just a different way maybe you could show some of your friends and you know surprise them about this because I'm sure if they're newer anyways at playing um, this might be something that they haven't seen I mean I've been playing since the beta I haven't seen this and I technically have never had to have to have a cheese for this but I don't know <laughs> I just thought this was pretty cool but yeah, that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you guys found this enjoyable and it was something new to you once again. I'm out of here. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. It's greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace out.